Alright guys, welcome back to another challenges guide. Hit that like button down below if you're having a good day. But in this one, I've got for you a full guide for the Cameo vs. Sheik challenges. The overtime challenges, and this one has a lot of location challenges. And I'll show you all of the locations, including the no fishing signs, where Lake Canoe and the Flopper Pond is, where you can find a lonely recliner, a radio station, and an outdoor movie theater, where to destroy a telescope, a television, a telephone pole, where the hidden gnome can be found. And not only that, but also the the dance at the top of Mount H7, Mount F8, and Mount K. But don't worry guys, they are all inside of this one video. Now with that being said guys, there's expected to be more overtime challenges coming up soon. So if you don't want to miss those, hit that subscribe button right away. Turn on notifications to be the first to know about them. And I'll be helping you out just like I do in this video. On top of that guys, if you appreciate these guides and you want to help support me, you can do so by using code the Lamaser in the item shop. As an epic partner, it helps support the channel and I appreciate it a ton. And also one last quick announcement, some of you were wondering about this, but I'm uploading Rocket League videos again. They're on my second channel. Recently uploaded one about reacting to the top Reddit Rocket League videos and clips, so there will be a link to that and my second channel down below in the description if you want to check it out. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump into it. Alright guys, but I wanted to jump into game to show you this first challenge, just because it's way easier to show you, like, actually in game, but this one is the catch an item with a fishing rod at different locations with no fishing signs. So you're basically looking for, like, the no fishing signs. But with this first location, we're actually going to be going to Slurpee Swamp. So that is where I would recommend uh, going first in something like Team Rumble. So yeah, guys, let's just go ahead and dive down here. The first location that you're going to want to head to is uh, right down there. A little bit hard to see with the umbrella up in the air, but yeah, right at that dock. So as we glide on closer, as you can see, there is a no fishing sign right here. That is specifically what you are looking for. And also there is a barrel right over here that'll have some fishing rods, making it very easy to actually catch an item for some reason they don't spawn in creative don't ask me why because i don't know <laughs> but you're not going to be in creative so that's a good spot to start this out but if you're able to go to the same location simply drive the boat over here because as you can see if you go to this dock as well there is another no fishing sign right up there and there's also another barrel in case you uh, need a fishing rod or something after that simply go to the left again wrap around this side and then head over towards this um sewer pipe or whatever you want to call it and head up above that as you can see there is yet another no fishing sign right here so again catch an item but yeah guys that should be enough to help you get this challenge done and what is going on with my pickaxe right here i have no idea but keeping it going here guys after that before we get into all of the location challenges which are coming up they're sort of towards the end of the challenges we have a few easy ones right here such as consume an apple a mushroom and also a slurp shroom those are obviously pretty easy and the best way to go about doing this is to start out at slurpy swamp so you can actually do this challenge while you're going for the no fishing signs challenge because you'll obviously be able to find slurp shrooms all around that location. In fact, I think it's the only location that has them. Either way though, after that you can then go ahead and find a mushroom inside of Weeping Woods, which is right next to that location. So it doesn't take much time. Just head over there and pick one up. And then after that for the apples, I think you actually have to go to the orchard. I thought I knew of another spot where you could pick up apples, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll just recommend going to the orchard near the farm because that 100% percent has apples to pick up but if you know another location with apples leave it down below in the comments i'd be curious to see but let's keep it going here with the next challenge which is another really tough challenge actually and that is to search five rare chests or supply llamas yeah definitely a lot and there's no real trick to getting this one done i mean you can try to see supply llamas as you're dropping onto the map but again they're just kind of random you sort of have to get lucky in finding supply llamas and equally you have to get lucky with finding rare chests and personally i would just focus on trying to find rare chests, but not even really try for it. I'd just play your games normally. Eventually, you're going to find the rare ones, but there's no way to really rush that, again, because it's random. But then keeping it going here with another challenge, you could actually mix both of these together, try to do them at the same time, but getting eliminations at different named locations. This one is probably going to take you a few games to get done, just because making it to different named locations, obviously, isn't the easiest thing. But I think the easiest way to go about doing this one is to simply hop into some solo matches, and drop towards really any named location that's fairly close to the battle bus. Then you can look for chests and maybe find a rare one as well, and then go for eliminations. But again, it has to be at different named locations, so you have to switch it up. Once you get one elimination at one location, you then have to go to another one to continue the challenge. So yeah, but fairly easy to do overall. And then after that, guys, this is where it gets crazy with all of the location challenges, the first of which is catch a fish at Lake Canoe, Lazy Lake, and Flopper Pond. So you may know where these 
these are because they've been in previous challenges. But as a reminder, let's just go over them right here. Now, the first of which, Lake Canoe, I would recommend going to either this one or Flopper Pond in Team Rumble because you can actually go to them in a sort of line. But let's start with Lake Canoe. That can be found over towards the right side of the map, a bit close to Retail Row. It's like over the hills from Retail Row, but it looks exactly like this. So get there, make sure to catch a fish. That is the important part of the challenge. And then you can go ahead and move on to Lazy Lake, which is the most obvious one that's a named location. But simply go over there, catch a fish, and then you'll have the second location done. Then for the third and final one, Flopper Pond, that can be found near, um, oh, what's this location called? I'm blanking out on the name of it, but it's this one over on the left side of the map. Then you just simply want to go over towards this pond, and that is Flopper Pond. So that is the final location that you need for this challenge. But moving on here to the next challenge I want to talk about. This one is another tough one. It is one where you have to visit a lonely recliner, a radio station, and an outdoor movie theater. So let me show you the exact locations of those three. Two of them are pretty tough, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it with the first of which, which is the Lonely Recliner. Now, this is on the uh, right side of the map, sort of near Dirty Docks. And again, as always, do something like Team Rumble. That's going to be the easiest. But yeah, if you go towards Dirty Docks, you instead want to go over towards this hill right about there. And as you can see, once you get close to it, there is a lonely chair up on top of here. And that should be the chair that you need for this challenge. Now, for whatever reason, this location changes. Simply check the pinned comment down below for updates. I'll try to keep you updated down there. But as far as I'm aware, this is the location that works. So yeah, but then moving on to the next location, the radio station. This one you can actually visit in the same match if you want to, but let's just go back. This one's towards the top right of the map, a bit towards uh, Craggy Cliffs. So if you want to head towards Craggy Cliffs, go a bit to the right of it. The radio station is right here, as you can see on top of this hill. So yeah, simply glide on down there. And as you can see, it's got the radio tower type thing on top of it. And just everything about it is the radio station. So simply visit here and this should be that location that you need as well. But again, guys, simply check the pinned comment down below for updates if they change up that location. And then for the final one, that is the uh, pretty easy one, the outdoor movie theater. You probably know where that is. But in case you need a reminder, you simply want to go over towards Frenzy Farms and find the Risky Reels location, as you can see right there. Obviously, that is the outdoor movie theater. What else could it be? But yeah, simply visit that location and that will be the final location you need for this challenge. Then keeping it going, you have another really easy challenge. This is just to simply get an elimination with an assault rifle, shotgun, and a sniper rifle. So the best way to go about doing that is to simply jump into a Team Rumble match, search around for these items specifically, and then get eliminations with them within the rest of the Team Rumble match. That's really all there is to it. It's definitely the easiest challenge this week. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for it. But actually guys, let's go ahead and move right into the next challenge as well, because this one you can actually complete similarly at one of these locations. And the location that I would recommend going to is that radio station that we already visited. So as we head on back over there, the challenge that I'm talking about is the one where you have to destroy a telescope, a television, and also a telephone pole. Now, the reason I recommend this location right here is because if you go behind it, there is actually a telescope right inside of this shed, as you can see. So you simply go up to that one, destroy it in about a couple of hits, and that is the first part of the challenge done. Then after that, you're simply going to want to head over to Craggy Cliffs. Unfortunately, there isn't a TV inside of the radio station, but if you're in Team Rumble, you can simply glide on down here. Now, I'd recommend going over towards one of these houses because if you head inside of there, or sorry, not this house, you actually want to build up to the second story of this house. Go in this door. It doesn't really matter where you go in. You simply want to walk into here, and as you can see, there is a television for you to break, and that will be the second part of the challenge done. The final one is to simply find a telephone pole, and if you build up to about like right here, you can glide on over towards the road, and as you can see, there is a telephone pole right here for you to break, and that is the final part of the challenge done. So all three of those are fairly close together, especially in Team Rumble. They're very easy to get done. Then after that, guys, you have the Hidden Gnome Challenge, which is always fun, but it's pretty tough, so don't worry, I've got the location of it for you right here. But yeah, specifically, it's the search the Hidden Gnome found in between a racetrack, a cabbage patch, and a farm sign. It's basically up towards that orchard that I already showed you, but yeah, the racetrack is up on top of the hill, as you can see right there, and then if you go down a bit, you'll be able to find the cabbage patch sort of more inside of the farm. And then finally, for the farm sign, that actually isn't the one in front of the farm, it's the one on the street. As you can see right there, it says specifically farm under it, so that is the farm sign. Then guys, if you go in between all of those, you will be able to find the hidden gnome on top of this hill, as you can see. Now obviously it doesn't show up in replay, 
type, but you'll easily be able to see it once you glide towards this hill. And again, it's right on that hill, so it'll be easy to find. But again, go up to it, search it, and then you'll have that challenge completed. And then guys, for the final challenge of this video, this is another tough one. These last bunch of challenges are pretty tough, but this is the dance at the top of Mount H7, Mount F8, and also Mount K. So where exactly are those? Well, don't worry guys, I have got you fully covered right here. And this one is actually easier than the other ones, or like fairly easier. It'll make sense once we go through it. But basically you want to go to the bottom right of the map, so a little bit towards Misty Meadows. But yeah, it doesn't really matter which order you visit these in, but the first of which is simply Mount F8, and that can be found right here on this snowy mountain, directly behind this location as you can see. So all you need to do is simply land on top of this right here, and once you're in a match it'll say that it's Mount F8, and that will count towards the challenge. Or sorry, to be sure you actually have to dance at this location, or all of these locations, so make sure you do that. That'll then make it count. After that then guys, you need to either respawn or build up a bunch, because you want to head over towards this mountain over here. This is, I believe, Mount K. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, but yeah, this one takes a little bit to get on top of, so you're probably going to need to build up to it, maybe get some materials down here, and then build up to it. I mean, we're climbing mountains here, definitely pretty fun, but yeah, keep on building up there, and once you reach the top of it, remember to dance. Doesn't really matter which emote you use. That should count for the second one. I'm pretty sure, again, that's Mount K. And then finally, you just want to head over to that mountain over there, which I believe is H7. So again, simply build up a little bit and then glide on over there. And then you can simply run up this mountain. I think you may need to be on the top of it. Not 100% sure, but yeah, simply go on top of it, use an emote, and that will be the final challenge done for all of these challenges. So yeah, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And if you did, remember to hit that subscribe button because we've got more overtime challenges coming up. Apparently this isn't the end. So if you don't want to miss those challenges, hit that subscribe button. You can also check out some of my previous videos here on the screen right now. But again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.